Eon Software, View 2016, Height Field, Terrains. Now we have a powerful addition to our terrain editor alongside the procedural adaptive mesh option. The standard terrain is replaced by height field terrains that are driven by a graph. Just as the procedural terrain, you are able to manipulate and build with nodes that are affecting the height map directly. Only now, we have a height field section in the menu where you can add erosion algorithms, which simulate hydrological and thermal erosions. In fact, we have a whole library of presets for the height field terrains. Also, we have presets for erosion within the left panel of the terrain editor, where you can add effects like mountains and rivers. As you can see here, I picked gorges. And then if I go to the graph editor, you'll see the gorge node appear. When you draw onto the terrain, a new node is created called the user touch-up node, so you can easily delete it without having to remove the entire terrain. And finally, the last addition is in the paint section, where you can create a material that is directly linked to the graph. So if I want to paint a specific material within an altitude section, I can automatically set it up. The height field terrains use a fixed resolution grid to define the geometry, which allows for a much faster render. We have a lot of additions in this height field section, and it's going to change the game for terrain editing in Vue.